after he's uh, retired from opera. Uh, it begins the Rossini's silence, uh, but it was a stunning silence uh, uh, full of beautiful music. Uh, and uh, during uh, the last years of his life, uh, he wrote Peche de Vies, a, a huge collection of uh, little pieces in 14 volumes, uh, written in Paris uh, mainly for piano solo, but uh, also chamber music and uh, a lot of vocal scores. This volume 8 of the first complete recording of uh, Peche de Vies for Naxos uh, combines uh, piano works with uh, chamber and vocal music. I really enjoy recording this CD uh, since uh, although I am a veteran of uh, Rossini's uh, um, piano works, uh, but this is the first time I play his chamber music. Even more exciting, it was to record the 11 first work recordings in this CD and I'm very happy uh, to have played this wonderful music with uh, Italian great artists and friends. Um, I'm talking about the uh, violinist uh, Massimo Quarta, uh, the cellist Enrico Dindo, um, the horn player Ugo Favaro, uh, the mezzo-soprano Lili Jorstad, uh, well, she's from Norway but Italian uh, by adoption, uh, the baritone Bruno Taddia, as well as uh, Ars Cantica Choir, conducted by Marco Berrini. These pieces are full of novelty, irony, beautiful melodies and uh, uncommon harmonies. Among them, we have four very short pieces for piano solo and an important theme uh, with variations that is a very virtuosistic piece. Then Allegretto and Melody for violin with Massimo Quarta. Un mopo bass for cello, a work dedicated to Servet, a very short uh, piece uh, with the cellist Enrico Dindo, uh, beside the famous uh, Unlarm. The original uh, version of Sarante pour sang with choir, harmonium and clochette with Dark Scantica Choir, conducted by Marco Berrini. And with Pariton Bruno Taddia, uh, we recorded the Ultimo Pensiero that I found at uh, from the shot in Bruxelles and Sonia Il Guerriere uh, with text by Metastasio. <laughs> At the end, the beautiful cantata Giovanna d'Arco with mezzo-soprano Lily Jorstad. 